Ennis Gary in County Wicklow, Ireland, the rare old gardens and house of Powers Court provide the setting for top styles by top designers, an all Irish fashion classic inspired by Lord and Taylor's Pride of Ireland New York showing of Irish products. The white evening coat is by Kay Peterson of Anna Livia. Cut with high-rise collar, high-sculptured bodice, and trumpet-shaped sleeves, the coat in a souffle hand-woven wool is modeled by Mrs. Peterson's daughter, Karen. Cloda, Mrs. Desmond O'Kennedy in private life, designs clothes for her Dublin boutique and overseas. Easy skirt with front panel and self-tied slightly blouse jacket feature the snow-white boucle two-piece suit, which is modeled for Clodagh by an Irish socialite. Donald Davies is fashion famous for designs in handkerchief weight hand-woven wool. Gossamer thin is the dress, cut on long slim lines with ampere bodice. Lucy Davies wears her father's creation in wool so light it reacts to the breeze this Irish morn. Renowned Sybil Connolly uses native fabrics to great advantage. She offers a cape with hood, which can be turned down over the shoulders forming a cape collar or can serve as a head covering. The fabric is flecked tweed, hand woven in Northwest Ireland. The easy fitting dress emphasizes the low waist with a tubular self belt. Jack Clark is known for impeccably tailored coats and suits in the beautiful tweeds of Ireland. He calls this his great coat, a double breasted herringbone tweed, and you can just feel the fabric in this detailed close up. Ah, the look of the Irish. Tis a fashion show in itself. Focus is on fashion at the Gresham Hotel in Dublin. Giving judgment is Madame Schiaparelli, here with Mrs. Sean O'Kelly on the styles being displayed. Everything from the material and buttons down to the thread that keeps them all together is Irish made. The models on show in this special untoastal parade give a pretty good idea of the sort of costumes that have been making fashion headlines for Irish designers. All the costumes on display are Irish designed. Yes, the old country has really pulled up her socks in post-war years and has entered the world's fashion race in no uncertain manner. Already, Paris, New York and London are beginning to recognize that Ireland can turn out the tops in style and elegance and is throwing out quite a challenge. Madame Schiaparelli notes a neat dress made, believe it or not, of brown jute, lavishly embroidered with red flowers in wool. But this is an exception. Most of the models are made from first quality Irish linen and Irish tweed. In this magnificent display, Ireland shows her own people that they can compete with the world's top fashion salons. <laughs> 